Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting video. We are doing some camping tonight. It's been a minute since we've been camping, so I just thought, you know what? It's beautiful the next couple days. So I just grabbed my sleeping bag and pillows and a little bit of food and we're heading up to this lake that's got brown trout, rainbow trout, tiger trout, and maybe some brook trout. I'm not really sure. Hopefully the fishing's good. Got my spinning rod, my fly rod. I'm really excited. First camping trip of the year. So let's get to this lake and uh, we'll get started. Stay tuned. And here we are, folks. Beautiful lake. I already see fish jumping everywhere and I actually spooked a couple walking up here on the bank, so it's looking good. So I'm starting off with my spinning rod and I got this little white beadhead leech that I'm gonna throw around and see if we, oh, there's a fish right there. Looks like a little tiger trout, about a seven inch tiger trout right here on shore. Oh yeah, I'm thinking this is gonna get them. All right, let's go ahead and start right here. I'm actually seeing a ton of minnows, like two, three inch fish hitting the surface and swimming around. So I don't know if those are stocked or if they're natural, I have no idea, but there's probably a lot of bigger fish just right here on shore feeding on them. In fact, a minnow imitation might not be a bad idea. See, there's a bunch right there. A bunch of little minnows. <laughs> there's a bunch chasing it in. A little bit too small to eat it. There we go. Ah, rainbow. Ah, shoot, there he goes. That was just a little rainbow, not what we're after. I mean, I'll take anything, but I'm here for the browns and tigers. All right, so I've switched to this little white marabou. It's a lot smaller than that leech I was throwing so maybe they're gonna be more willing to hit it because these aren't huge fish I'm seeing we'll give it a try there we go first cast first cast with this little jig I think we might have found something little tiger trout there we go folks first cast with this little jig and he just popped off yeah so this is what we've been seeing down there I've seen a few nicer ones, probably browns, but most of them have just been little tigers like this. Oh, well, there he goes. Quick catch and release. Sweet, we are on the board. Let's get right back in there. There we go. Two casts later, looks like a rainbow. Looks like a rainbow. Guys, we found out what works. Here we go. <laughs> two fish, two species. This is not a bad rainbow. Look at that. Second fish of the day. Beautiful bow. Get out of here. All right, we've caught a tiger, a rainbow. Now all we need is a brown. There we go. Rainbow. Another rain, er, what is, no, tiger. It's a black and white tiger trout. <laughs> Check that out. I have seen them like this where they just have no color to them at all. And they're just black and white. Look at that. Kind of gnarly looking. He's got some split fins. Interesting. Cool, that's the second tiger of the day. Get out of here. Oh, dude, something big just hit the surface over there. That was not a small tiger or rainbow. That was something, something with some power. There was another one, there was another one. There we go, oh my gosh. What the freaking heck. That was the third fish that ate it. There we go, nice brown. Nice brown or nice tiger, I can't tell. That's a good fish though. Really nice fish, looks like a brown. Heck yeah, first really good fish of the day. Oh, it's a beautiful one. Holy cow. 
get in here, buddy. Sweet. <laughs> Look at that fish. Holy cow, finally. I think this guy's swiped at him more than a few times. Check that out. There we go. First good fish of the day. About a 14 inch brown. Not a giant, but that's freaking awesome. This is what I'm here for. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thanks for biting. Just look how beautiful that thing is. Holy cow. There we go. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. That is why we're here. Now, if we can get a tiger trout that size, that would be awesome. Oh, one just jumped right there. Mm, missed one. Missed a good one. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. Watched him. What is that? Brown or tiger? Brown or tiger? Oh, coming up on shore. Looks like a little brownie. Yep. Another brown. Not nearly as big as that last one, but I'll take it, dude. I will take it. I think it's about to start raining here in a little bit. Hopefully it passes quick. All right. Thanks for playing. There we go. Oh. Ah. It is frustrating when you can see the fish and they're hitting it and you can't hook them. But I mean, obviously it's better than getting no fish at all. No action whatsoever. This is still somewhat entertaining. There we go. Another brown <laughs> in the net. Three browns in a row. That's cool. And they're slowly getting smaller. Look at that little squirt. <laughs> See ya. Tiger. Nice, nice. There we go. Ooh, that's a nicer tiger. One of the nicer ones I've seen. He's still not even that big. Look at that. I'll take it. That's definitely on the bigger side of the tigers I've seen down there anyway. Pretty fish. See ya. There we go. Ooh, big brown. Big brown. Nice. That's another nice fish. He's pulling, he's pulling. He does not want to come up. Oh my goodness, look at that. There we go. About the same size as that first one. Maybe a little bit bigger. What a stud. Just barely hooked, barely hooked. Oh my goodness, that was all tension. There it goes. Look at that. Beautiful brownie. Right around that 15 inch mark. There he goes. That's why I always hold them over the water, so if they do decide to just jump out of my hands, they go right back in. Now there's gotta be some tigers down there that size. I mean, there's just gotta be. Tiger trout typically grow a lot faster, so there's gotta be at least a few. There we go. Another one. Tiger, or no, that is a little brown. Boop. This is bait size right here. Throw that guy on a circle hook. Oh, right there, got him. <laughs> Watch that guy. I was about to pull it out of the water, but then I saw him and I just dropped it back down. He crushed it. 
pretty. There we go. Watched him. Brown. Nice, nice. Just popped off. Nice little fish. Let him go. Oh, there we go. What do we got? Tiger. It's so fun just coming to a lake with multiple different species like this you know you got your brown tiger rainbow every single fish you catch could be a different species so it's just kind of fun to have that variety pop that jig although we haven't seen many rainbows i caught one and i saw a couple others but for the most part they're kind of kind of scarce or at least i can't catch them or they might be hugging the very bottom because you know i'm only fishing like like 15 yards out just a couple feet down so Maybe all the rainbows are hugging the bottom out in the middle. It's fine by me. I mean, I'd rather catch these nice browns and tigers than those little planters. Here we go. We got a problem folks our jig's starting to die on us it's starting to come unraveled right there oh that sucks because this is the only white jig i have i mean this is seeming to be the only thing that's working and i do have other jigs but they're pink and they're black so hopefully color is not why they're wanting this Another one. We'll let him go. Oh, there we go. That's a nice fish. That's a good brown. That's a nice fish. Holy cow. He's pulling some drag. Nice brown, a little bit bigger than those last two, I think. It's not a trophy, but I'll take it. Check that out. Holy cow. And got him. Yeah, about the same size as those other ones. Solid, dude. There we go. Look at that. Another nice one. Beautiful fish. All right, there we go. It's the third big brown of the day. Get him back. He's ready. There he goes. All right, guys, so the bite kind of died at that lake. I didn't get any other bites for like the last 30 minutes I fished it. And then it started raining and it's still raining. So I'm gonna call it for fishing for the day. We caught plenty of fish, I'm happy with it. Now we're gonna try to find a camping spot so we can get all set up and get a fire going and cook dinner. But it might be kind of hard to start a fire since everything is now wet. But yeah, let's find a camping spot and we'll go from there. All right, folks, found a little camping spot. I did have to pay for this one, which kind of sucks, but I can't really find anywhere else. But we do have a little fire pit right here, a table and a grill. Probably just gonna use the fire pit. And it is still raining, as you guys can see. I'm gonna do my best to start a fire. I do have some paper towels and stuff to help me get it going. And we're gonna try to scrounge up some dry wood. Give her everything we got. Just grab a bunch of these little dry sticks. As many as we can. There we go. I think we got it going. I just need to keep it going. Hopefully. 
The rain's kind of stopping, so that's good. The only problem is since this wood is kind of wet, it's just gonna be one giant smoke machine. All right, so for dinner, we're doing tinfoil dinners. So ground beef, potato, onion, and carrots. We got some ground beef. Put about half of it in. I'll take some carrots. Potato. I'm gonna cut the potatoes up really small because they usually take the longest to cook. So the smaller the better. And then the most important ingredient, cream of mushroom soup. We'll just pour it over everything. One reason why I love camping is because every time I do, or almost every time I make one of these, and these are one of my favorite things. So we're gonna let this wood burn down, and then we're gonna set our dinner on the coals and then let it cook. Or actually, I can just move some of these over there and set it on right there. All right, we'll set it right there. And it'll probably take like 20 or 30 minutes to cook. I want those potatoes to get really soft, so I wanna make sure it's cooked plenty. And uh, yeah, I'm getting hungry. All right, it should be done. It's been in there for like 30 minutes. Let's bring it over here. So the meat's cooked all the way. That's good. Let's see if the potatoes are soft. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we are looking good. I think we're ready to eat. All right. Look at that. I'll just take it and dump it on our plate. And there we go. Tin foil dinner. Let's try it out. Mmm, potato is super soft. So is the carrots. And it only took 40 minutes to make. Next time you go camping, make this. Super easy. Just throw it all in some tin foil, stick it in the fire, wait like 30 minutes, and you're golden. All right, so we're just gonna be sleeping in the back of the truck tonight. No tent, nothing too fancy. Just got my sleeping bag, a couple pillows. We should be nice and cozy in here. It's one thing that's nice about having a full-size cab. You can just sleep on the back seat. Got plenty of room. But I'm not gonna go to bed quite yet. I just kinda wanna chill out here, relax, sit by the fire, enjoy the night. And then in the morning, we're gonna wake up go fishing. That's my only plan. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today. I'm gonna get some sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning. Beautiful morning. It's a little bit chilly. It's about 6.30. Um, I didn't sleep the best last night, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little cramped back there in the back seat. Uh, and it was, it got pretty cold last night. Like there was frost on the windows and everything. So not the best night of sleep I've ever gotten. Definitely not the worst night of sleep I've ever gotten. But we're back out here at this lake. And this morning, I've got my fly rod and I got a balanced leech down to a little chronomid. We're gonna see if we can catch some good fish this morning and we'll go from there. There we go, there's a fish. Oh, dang it. Uh, I looked away for a second and then my indicator's down. I didn't get a good hook set on him. There's the first bite of the morning, a little tiger trout. Oh, gosh, dang it. 
Look down for two seconds and my indicator's gone. Missed another one. All right. I'm gonna try something else. I don't think these fish wanna hit something that's just sitting there. Let's try this. Got a little white woolly bugger. This is kind of like what we were using yesterday. That little white marabou jig this is pretty similar, so this should get some bites. All right. Hooked up. Hooked up finally. It's taken an hour and a bunch of missed fish, but we're hooked up. There we go. On the woolly bugger finally. Nice little tiger. It's actually not a bad one. There we go. Look at that. That's the nicest tiger we've caught. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is not a bad fish right there. Beautiful colors. Man, there we go. First fish of the morning on that little woolly bugger. He just took it and went with it. Nice fish. All right, get out of here, bud. Ooh, that water is icy cold. There he goes. Oh, there was another one. Ah. Oh, creamed it right there. Oh, right there, right on shore. I was literally lifting it out of the water and I watched him come up and grab it. Sweet that another one number two of the morning you know ah, I'm thinking well no nah, I'm just gonna let them all go I was thinking we could just keep one of these and cook it for breakfast but I don't know I'm not really feeling fish this morning not gonna lie there he goes there he goes there we go another little guy Come on, I want a big brown. Where are those big old browns at? And in the net. Look at that. They're such cool looking fish. Cool patterns, they're aggressive. Awesome. Pinned him right there in the nose. There we go. Later. Oh, there we go. I saw it disappear. I didn't feel him though. Ooh, rainbow. In the net. There we go. That is the second rainbow we've caught. We caught one yesterday. And I gotta say, I'm kind of surprised we haven't caught more because I'm pretty sure these are the most plentiful fish in here. There we go. Oh, look at that. He's got kind of a gash on his side. Like he's been attacked by something. Interesting. Later. Oh my gosh. I'm watching them crush it and I don't know how I'm not hooking them. Like I can see my fly disappear in their mouth. Oh, there we go. There we go. Another rainbow? Yeah. Another rainbow. Two rainbows in a row. Must have found the rainbow hole. Nice. I'll take whatever, man. See ya. Fish on. Fish on. Looks like another tiger. Yep. Ooh, there's a nice little jump. Get over here. I actually switched flies. I'll show you what I've been using. Got him. Cool. So I switched to this little olive green leech. I've just been stripping that in and this was like the fourth or fifth cast with it. Nice fish. Yeah, that was only like the fourth cast with it. And I did get a bite on the first cast, so they might actually want this one more. It's a little bit more natural looking. There we go. There we go. He hit that on the surface. I was just stripping it in right below the surface and he crushed it. 
Oh, okay. Come on. There we go. Oh, he just popped it right off the hook. Nice. See you later. I'll show you what I was using. So I had that green leech on. So now I got this green and white woolly bugger. And I've just been swimming it across the surface. And I've had like two or three fish blow up on it. Eat it. Yes. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Come on. Come back, come back, come back. Oh, they're chasing it in like a freaking basswood. Just right along the top. There we go. That's a good brown. That's a good brown. That's what we've been looking for. Sweet, I watched him take it. Watched him just inhale it. Ooh, get in here. I don't want to force him. Don't want to force him. All right, all right, all right. And, and, got him. <laughs> here we go. Check that out. Another big brown. First brown of the day. Oh my goodness, look at that thing. Oh my, and he's got a chunk taken out of him. He's got like a big old chunk taken out of him. That is a serious injury. Looks like an eagle might have got him or something. Regardless, that's a beautiful fish. On the woolly bugger. Oh, he was barely skin hooked. It just fell right out. Oh, fish are jumping right there in front of me. All right, let's get this guy back and keep fishing. Thanks for biting. There he goes. He's playing dead there for a second. Oh, that feels good. I'd be fine if we didn't catch anything else the rest of the morning. I'd love to get another one, but I'll take what I can get. Oh, there we go. Tiger. Or is that a rainbow? What do we got here? Something. He hit it hard. Two casts later. Nice. That's not a bad one either. It's on the bigger side. Hook just pops out again. These fish are not getting hooked very well. There we go. I don't even know what number of fish this is. We've caught quite a few. See ya. Oh, another one. Next cast. Next cast. Oh my goodness. This is so much fun. Oh, get back here. Got him. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Now that guy actually ate it. That's the first fish that's had it in its mouth. There, that's what I want to see. Pop it out for him. There we go. I think we found the right fly. Get out of here. Oh, there we go. Rainbow. Is that? No, it's another tiger. I swear these tigers look just like rainbows because they don't have very much color to them. They're just kind of silver. Now there's a bite starting to turn on. That one ate it too. Nice. Now they're starting to eat. They're not just swiping at it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. It's about 11 o'clock right now. So we fished for like four and a half hours this morning and I'm just kind of tired. So we're heading out of there. We caught some good fish, bunch of nice tigers and one really nice brown. And we caught some good fish yesterday too. So I'm happy with it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to check out the fly rod I was using, I will leave a link in the description. I really like it. I've been using it a ton the past few months. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.